Mr. Beckham, I just want to say if things don't go the way we want them in the playoffs, please remember just what we did last season. Yeah, we won lots of trophies and we won nothing this year, but I mean, we can build on that, can't we? You'll think about it. Okay, well, let's just see how the playoffs go. Hi folks, welcome to part 16 of Make Miami Great here on Football Manager 24. I'm Russ, coming up today we've got a couple of playoff games for you hopefully. The first one is a wildcard match against Toronto. We'll have a look at the league and we'll show you how we got there. And if we can get through there, we go into the first round of the MLS Cup, which is our last hope of winning the trophy. And getting into the Champions Cup. So since you guys were last with us, you guys saw... Uh, I think it was the uh, Tigres and the Montreal game where we lost both of them. Since then, we haven't lost. We beat LA Galaxy 3-2. We beat Orlando City 2-1. We beat Real Salt Lake. Th uh, what did we beat? We beat them 3-0. And then the most recent game, last game of the regular season, was a 0-0 draw against Toronto. That leaves us, if we can bring it up and I can get it onto the right thing. Uh, which we said we were the eastern side. There we go. We finished ninth, so we got into the playoffs. Lovely, lovely stuff. Could have finished in eighth place had we beat Toronto, but it wasn't to be. We managed to turn the season around, get ourselves into this into this playoff position here. And if we get through this, we're into the MLS Cup properly. If we have a look at the board vision, it's still an E, but the supporters have now got a B minus. So we need to perform in the MLS Cup in order for Mr. Beckham and the rest of the board to keep me on for a another season. So let's jump straight into it. Just going to beat Toronto in Toronto. And uh, yeah, progress further on. The team we're putting out there is Miller in goal. The reason Miller's in goal is because the board wanted me to drop the Santos. So we have done. We're not even putting him on the bench. We're going with one of the other reserve keepers that we have playing on there. A back four of Michaud, Gabriel, Aviles and Morello. Redondo, Kromeshki and Zapelli in the centre of midfield. Farias, Grisel out on the wings, supporting Passerini up front. Passerini, who has scored six goals in nine games. Uh, when was the last time you scored, Sunshine? Let's go on here and then go on form. I uh, scored two goals against Real Salt Lake. Did have a period of games where he wasn't scoring. But managed to find his scoring boots again. And hopefully he's going to find a couple here. As we look to get past Toronto, a decent Toronto side, I must say. I mean, nil-nil against them uh, four days, what, four in-game days ago. Look at the stadium, looks huge, bigger than what we're playing in. We edged them in terms of possession and match stats and XG, so I'm hoping it's going to translate into this game where we can actually put the ball into the back of the net. And what have you done there? Luckily, they don't capitalise on Miller comes out, grabs the ball... But then it looked like it hit Morello. Fell out into the left-hand side where Toronto had it. They sort of snatched at the opportunity. He saw the bright lights, went to shoot and yeah, put it wide. They've got Insigne in their team. I think he'd done a job against us last time we played them. I think that was last season when he, he absolutely hammered us. Insigne again. I think he got a hat-trick in that game. But it's all been Toronto so far. First 20, 27 there or so minutes. Eight shots, two of those on target. We've only registered the ones. We've gone on to the positive mentality. Hopefully, this is going to get us going forward. Just seem to not be up for this game. I mean, Grisel, Farias, Passerini, all having bad games at the moment. Approaching halftime, we've had one shot, and you can't win games unless you shoot. And that's what we're going to say to him at halftime as the whistle goes. There we go. Um, I'm not, unless there's fitness reasons. I mean, Grisel could probably come off. Ariola can come on for him. That's all I'm going to say. Miller's having a pretty decent game. 7.3, probably our best player. Um, let's go very attacking. Why not? Let's encourage the boys as well. Farias, again, having a bad game. I mean, Koreshki will probably come off, come and go out there. Let's make a couple of changes in the midfield. Sapelli with a free kick here. Into Farias, turns into Ariola, back out to Sapelli. Redondo, edge of the box, has a shot. Oh, he hits the upright. Ariola's got it. He's been dispossessed. We've got it back, though, with a highlight. It does come to an end. It's a, it was a good attempt from us, if I'm totally honest. Just couldn't put it in the back of the net. We're trying down this right-hand side now. Morello into Ariola. If through the centre, Redondo into Passerini. There's no space, and he tries to force it through 
the Toronto player, Ian Tufarias, which is never going to happen. You should have seen where the space was and passed it there. Played a little bit too direct, and that's what's hurt us. And here come Toronto down the left-hand side. Don't put it in the back of the net. Oh, no. Oh, it's because I said the word. They hurt us, and they have. 1-0 to Toronto. I'm going to make some changes because we have to. Uh, we're going to bring off... Uh, what do we What do we do here? As Connor can come on, actually. Go up, bring on for Farias. Um, we'll swap those two round because they can play better that way round. And Gutierrez in the midfield can come on for Redondo because Redondo's having a bad game. Let's see if this is going to hopefully change our fortunes. Yes, we want to confirm that. Passerini's had a bad game. Got a corner to defend. If this goes in, I think it's over. And I think maybe our job's over as well and the save's over. Oh, they oh, have put no. in as well. 2-0 to Toronto. Oh, we should have defended that a little bit better than what we actually did. Passerini getting under it. No, Ariola's picked up the ball. Into the box to Gutierrez. There's Kromeski put it in. Oh, he hits the bar. Hits the underside of the bar. And there's a scramble to get the ball clear. Uh, have we... Oh, no, we've just given away a foul. I thought we had a player sent off as well then. Oh, glorious opportunity for us to score. And at least get one back to save face. But no, it's not... It's not happened for us. Maybe it's not our day. Maybe it's not our season. If you want, you can sing the Friends thing tune. Thing tune. Let's confirm those substitutions. But yeah, I think this is the season over. Please don't be my job over there. That's that's what I think is going to happen. I really do think that's our, our, our job here at Miami done. The full-time whistle goes. We are out at the wild card stage. I don't really want to click continue. Because I think continue says, Mr. Reynolds, you are sacked. Um, defeat there Redondo for good behaviour not really interesting I slammed the team yeah I did slam them Redondo faces uncertainty questions he questions us uh, I'm not going to answer that I just want to see what we do now Ugh. that's not good is it and even the supporters have got an F there's going to be a meeting there's going to be a meeting. I think it's going to be my sacking. And this is, I think this is it here. Very bored. Very disappointed with that failure. Support was disappointed. Interview. What do we say with this? I'm going to say that. And then I'm going to go that. And we just have to click continue until the board say they want to talk to me. Which is going to be coming up, I guess. I mean, if I was in charge of, uh, if I was in charge of Miami, I I would say, get in here now. We're talking to you. We're sacking you. I think probably wait to the twenty eighth, probably wait to the Monday. Get get the weekend out of the way, and then give me my marching orders. We might actually survive this Sunday. Valencia's picked up an injury. Or maybe they'll wait to the end of the season. We do the season review and then they get rid of me. But everything's pointing towards me keeping my job. Let's have a look at the let's look at the job security a minute. I mean, I've got to be down here. Is uh, sorry, it's this one here, isn't it? Very insecure. Yeah, very insecure there. No precarious actually. Oh god. Okay. Monday comes round. We're still in the job. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue through to the end of the season. And then see what they say after. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to sack me. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, this looks like it. The board wished to hold a meeting regarding my position at the club. Performance hasn't been good enough and your position is under serious threat. Failure to attend this meeting result in the board terminating your contract. So, <clears throat> they're happy with sign-ins. Some signings, I guess. I'm not happy with trades and then not happy with this. So let's attend this meeting and see what they say. 
We're not happy with the current performance and considering your position at club, we'd like to know why you think the team's formed so badly. Um, it's not injuries, because injuries haven't affected it. We could say f ignore form, trust the process. Fixtures, this is exactly the same as last year, so it's not exactly hard fixtures there. This is my first job in management. I hope you can overlook my errors. Date, let me grow as a manager. What do we say? I mean, it's a toss-up between ignore the form and my first job in management. I can't exactly say first job management because last year we did an amazing job. So I'm going to say ignore the form. Uh, we'll give you the benefit of doubt right now, but you need to see results. We need to see results improve sooner rather than later. We believe it's important to stay with good terms with you. So hopefully we can continue to work together. So, oh, I've kept my job. Oh, we've kept our job. Why, 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 why? But I think, I think ultimately if we lose our first game of the new season, first couple of games of the new season, they're going to give me the big heave-ho, aren't they? And I think that's, that's going to be vital. So it's going to be improving this squad. Got a goalkeeper. Um, I'm going to do that. So maybe, maybe it's a change of formation. Maybe we go, maybe we go three at the back. With wing backs, defensive midfielders, that sort of thing. Build from there. That's I mean that's something I have to do for the for the next episode, I think. Just looking at what we've got around the club. I think we're gonna have to go three 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 one potentially. So keep this how it is. Three there, three there. We'll build something. We'll build something. So if you guys want to stick with this journey, drop a big thumbs up on the video for me to tell, let me know that you're liking it. And subscribe to the channel as well for next season because we are going to build from this and we're going to come back bigger and stronger. That's all we can do here in, my, in Miami. We need to get bigger and stronger. And as always, folks, thank you very much for watching.